Hello stars, I'm going to Incheon today and I'll be taking you guys along with me to some of the cute cafes Incheon has to offer. But first, let me show off my new bag from Teddy Blake, New York. Teddy Blake has a team of Italian designers pitched from well-known luxury brands and they release new collections every month. They are so high in quality and design as you can see. Like when you receive the bag, you will instantly notice how well made it is. Teddy Blake bags are made with premium Italian leather as well as being crafted at same factories as other Italian luxury brands. So it is definitely high in quality, but the best part is that they are much cheaper than other luxury bags that you can get because they removed one to two thousand dollars of labeling cost. So you can enjoy a luxurious bag with high quality and much cheaper price, which is what we all want, right? I am currently in Incheon because I am moving to this area in about 3 days and I have to get the place cleaned before moving in. So I have to be in the area for about 5 to 6 hours so I'm going to go around and look at some cute cafes to see what kind of cute cafes Incheon has to offer me. I am currently at a Korean, like a very typical Korean kind of food place because it is currently 10.20 am but I didn't have time to have breakfast or anything because it's pretty far in Chun. Um, so I'm kind of hungry so I'm going to eat some Korean food to start my day so then I am energized for throughout the day and I'm going to get myself some spicy stir fry pork bibimbap with some memil jeonbyeong which is like kind of like kimchi mandu but like the outside wrap isn't made of flour but with buckwheat so it's like healthier version of it. little Stacy tip here. So a lot of people don't know when they come to Korea how to eat bibimbap. It looks all very pretty because you know it's so nicely presented but you're actually supposed to mix the ingredients like the toppings. It's called bibimbap because bibim means to stir and pop means rice. So it's like mixed rice, okay? <laughs> the taxi and my mom's very skeptical because as you can see the area is not exactly like a cafe street or anything but this is the cafe we are going to <laughs> this cafe called Butter to Butter and I don't know why but just any name with butter in it, it just kind of kicked me so I wanted to visit and actually the reason why I came across this cafe is because of their really unique looking dessert it's not a cake, it's not typical pie or tart either but it has corn in it I found that really interesting and I came here and I, there are actually um, more variety of tart, cheese, cake kind of 
I don't even know what to call this. But yes, I want to try it out. But like the cafe itself is really cute as well, like super tiny, and I don't know, it's a vibe. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I am really, 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 really full from my lunch slash breakfast. No, that's not lunch. I had it at ten, so um, it's so all really full. But let's see how much of this cute-looking dessert that I can have because it smells really good. And I love corn. I like anything yellow. I love corn. I love potato. I love lemon. Just anything yellow is good. And we also got a really interesting um, drink called butterscotch latte. So I'm going to try that too because I don't drink Americano. You can see it is a very sunny day in Incheon today and I am off to my second cafe. This one's called RBMP and this is another cafe I think that remodeled an old house so I'm super excited to see. Um, it looks like a bigger cafe than before and I'm going to be taking some photos. House, but it's a cafe indeed, RBMP. Apparently, this is their signature menu and it has condensed milk, milk and coffee in it. And honestly, all the drinks were so pretty, I want to try them all. This one's their autumn signature, and this one's their winter signature, and so on. As soon as I saw this spot, I knew it was going to be my favorite where I take all my photos. They have a terrace as well, by the way. Okay, I like officially love this cafe. It has such great lighting. Like perfect place for me to take photos for my Instagram feed because you know I like my Instagram feed. It has cool tone and nice and clean and simple. And I love this place. There are just like so many different little spots to take photos with just like this wall. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh. And they are big and spacious, which is really nice. And it's like pretty close to my house too, my new house I'll be moving to in Incheon, which means I can come here whenever I want and take photos. I am so happy. And also I really like their menu as well. It's kind of more, it's unique and they have their signature menus and I'm excited to try their autumn signature latte right now as well. So this one apparently has milk and chestnut, so that's why it's all of them trying. Oh, oh, okay. The cream on top is super sweet, and as you're sipping in, you can really, really taste the chestnut quite strongly. In Korea, they like to use chestnuts for savory and sweet, but this is towards the sweeter side. And it's so yum! Oh my gosh! If you like Mont Blanc, I feel like you would like this drink a lot. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> I love how in Korea there's always like plugs so I can charge my phone. 
back from all the cafes now we are gonna go and check on the house and see if everything's nicely clean and while we're at it i'll show you guys what my new apartment complex looks like Now we are done looking at the new house and I am on my way to my current house in Seoul but on our way to the subway we actually came across this bunsikjang which is a Korean snack food, school food kind of um, category food thingy tteokbokki and stuff you know and they just look really retro and cute and yummy so we decided to come in Okay so I got these two and mom's getting these rose egg tteokbokki and like this if you live in Korea everyone knows it's kind of like a childhood memory kind of food. It's just it's just yum, okay? And this one looks interesting so I'm getting it. Look at this rose tteokbokki. And oh my god, I'm so excited to eat my karek tteokbokki. And this is actually called Pikachu tonkatsu, which means like Pikachu cold cutlet, but they call it the teddy bear cold cutlet. Maybe copyright issue. But yummy! <laughs> So this is karet tteokbokki. So basically what it is, is long as rice cake that goes into tteokbokki, deep fried and covered in this sauce. I don't even know how to explain this sauce. It's like bunjik sauce, it's like yangnyeom. Like, it's almost like sweet chili, but if you've had like the season, yangnyeom chicken in Korean chicken places, that's the sauce it is. How do you even make this? Something like with ketchup and chili paste and things but it's it's honestly really yum. Let me take a bite. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. If you like the texture of rice cake, you're gonna love this. So yum. Yummy, I love this sauce. It kinda looks like a dead teddy bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This was too yummy, so we got one each. <laughs> Go Pikachu!